So the ability to look at small things and magnify them with microscopes led to the concept of the cell as the fundamental or, um, unit of life. So biologists define all living um, organisms um, as based around a single cell and larger organisms can have many of these cells. So Robert Hooke described the cell theory or coined the term cell from his drawing of a, a very finely sliced piece of cork and it looked like a, a sort of set of rooms of, a, of an apartment block, multi-storey apartment block. But over time um, it required other information to establish what the cell actually did. Now Leeuwenhoek's simpler microscope allowed him to see contents inside the cell and he could actually you could see the nucleus although Leeuwenhoek didn't describe that and it was uh, quite a while later that the compound microscope became sufficiently um, well built that uh, Brown actually described the nucleus as this body contained within cells. Subsequently, there were two German um, biologists, uh, a plant biologist and a, and a zoologist, who independently came up with the idea that this nucleus was very important in, in controlling cell division. So at that stage, the role of the nucleus was not understood, but it was seen that this little black spot or, or body, like a balloon sitting inside the cell, was crucial to the functioning of the cell. Now, the reason that's important, of course, is how do, we, how do, how do animals um, come about? Earlier, people had thought it arrived from the miasma or just spontaneous um, creation. Uh, and gradually, people realised, no, you had to have a preceding living cell in order to generate the, the, the next cell.